All right, let's do this. PC showcase. I got a lot of options. So like, they'll come and what? I could get drafted to Raw, SmackDown, NXT, either one. But I would like to start in NXT. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, I mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That nice. all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. Being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, potentially open more doors. But if you lost, the risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? Let's start off small. Because like I want to start from the from the bottom and work my work straight up to the top, so I'm gonna start with. Oni if Lorcan. I have to make a decision right now, I'm going with Oni Lorcan. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him? Well, now that the cat's out of the bag. Remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, hey. no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. I would've... Oh, come on, that's not even an option. I would've, I would've liked to see what they had in store. That's not cool. What's wrong with my attire? It's unique. Hmm, this dude. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. Show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I don't like this guy. It's a shame. It's a shame it's not him. Because that could prove to everyone how much of a sham he is. Also, do I got anything new? No. I'll update my attire soon. When I get to NXT. Because I'm, I'm going to so NXT. I'm so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and it was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. But then the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. No, 
no thank you. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally, like, pyro or anything. I mean, like, the romantic kind. Okay. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Uh -huh. Good luck with all that. It ain't gonna work out, Chase. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is not gonna work out for you. You're going too much off your high horse dreams. It ain't gonna work. Not one bit. And plus is Mandy Rose. I have more of a shot with Mandy Rose than Chase. In the game, I mean. Alright, here we go. I've also been practicing on my wrestling moves. So, you might see an improvement of what I've been doing. At least, not yet. But you'll see. William Regal's watching me. Yep, I'm getting dominated right now. So much for me saying I I have improved on my wrestling moves. But enough talk. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. So warm in here that I'm itchy. Woo! <laughs> yes. Okay, Mandy, just chill out. Okay, okay, GMs, no need to get all in my face like that. That's that's very uncomfortable. Makes me nervous. I know you're watching me, but calm down. Oh. Two. Three. When the pressure's on, I am all good. Four. So much for rolling out now. Where was the counter in that? Oh no, I'm stunned. Oh, thank goodness. But I'm still getting destroyed as fuck, man. Oh no, I could get up on my own, guys. It, I'll be fine. What the fuck? Thank you, game, for giving me a rematch for once. So, yeah, I gotta stay out of the- I gotta stay off the outside now because of shit like that. Can't see me. There we go. But yeah, I am going to change the moveset a bit. That was three, Riff! That was three! Oh! A slap to the chest! But I know how to hit back. What's going on, man? Hey! Oof. Uh, yeah! Nice. You can't catch me. I'm too fast. Spoke too soon again. Ah, oh, gosh. Those kicks hurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. When is a corner move? I can never dodge it. Yes! Finally! 
Finally! I can dodge shit! Now it's my turn! Nighty night! He's still conscious! Alright. I don't want to hit the finisher yet. I want to catch him off guard. You know what I want to do? I want to do that one move that always... That is so cool to look at. No, not that one. Oh, but he caught me though. Nope. Oh, psych me out. Ah, damn it. Alright. That's alright. What you got? Yo! What? I hit the goddamn cat catching finisher shit man get your hands off me oh damn it yep I knew I should have knew that was gonna happen you're mine bitch Oh no. Oh no. Yep, it's going down. It's going down. But I'm weakening him. That's for sure. Oh. All in favor of knocking this fool out? Say oof. Yes! There we go. Whew. Man. Lorcan was a challenge. What do you bring? I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint with your win over Oni Lorcan today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. It's an honor. It would be an honor. In my opinion, NXT is the top brand in WWE, and I'm only going to help make it stronger. Yeah, buddy. I'm betting on that. And don't forget to take a moment to celebrate this achievement. You've earned it. Thank you, Mr. Regal. I promise you won't be disappointed with your decision. I hope not, but we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I'm going to NXT! Oh, Adam Pierce. You look good out there against Oni Lorcan. But I didn't see enough to offer you a SmackDown contract today. That's fine. I appreciate your honesty. And while a SmackDown offer would have been nice, I'm happy to be going to NXT. You should be. And I'll definitely be watching your progress. Good luck. I think SmackDown would be the second... Would be the... It will be the second show I go to after NXT. So when I'm done with NXT, I, I'll go to SmackDown. Oh boy. So no offer from Raw, huh? It would have taken a lot more than what you did today to get a Raw contract. Like maybe if you had beaten Drew McIntyre, but you didn't even have the guts to face him. So no, no offer from Raw. Well, maybe we'll cross paths some other time. Yeah, maybe. Now, if you don't mind, I have other business to attend to. She told it as it was, but that don't mean she wasn't a bitch about it. Great, now I gotta speak to this jackass. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. 
took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing in NXT, but without the lame nickname. <laughs> Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. Dick. And it's funny that he says that because Paragon J. Pierce is voiced by L.A. Knight, who's in NXT. Oh, the irony. Let me speak to Actor first. Hey, I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. Hey! You signed with NXT too? Yeah, I just spoke with Regal. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. We should look out for each other there. That's a good idea. Especially considering we might have targets on our backs coming in as the new guys. I like Hector, so I would not mind having him in my corner. Look forward to competing with you there. Congrats, man. You too. Now, what about good old Chase? Where, where did he end up? If, if he says raw, <laughs> if he says raw, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come. Trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. Exactly. All right. But that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. <laughs> I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm onto something. Chase? This dude is... Ugh. What am I supposed to say to him? What else am I supposed to say to this dipshit? <laughs> you know? You didn't Congrats get it. I'm getting signed to NXT. I think I you're think gonna you. do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. Really? Is it because of the Battle DX match or something? It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. It's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be what? Sorry, I accidentally hit the X button a little too early. <laughs> and there you see the newest addition to NXT's roster making their way into the arena. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Well, nobody asked you, but I have to agree. This guy is the definition of superstar. I wish I was wearing different clothes. Alright, cool. Who this who this guy? Can I bother you for a selfie? I'd be so thankful. I asked Raul Mendoza when he was through here earlier, and he ignored me. Not that I'm bitter about it. And not that I'd love you to take him down in the ring, but if you wanted to, I wouldn't mind it. Eh, why not? <sighs> but yep, that's WWE fandom. WWE fandom can be so fucking salty. <laughs> and I would know. Because I checked Twitter. 
and and you know what they say about Twitter nowadays, or in the last five years or so, what Twitter's been like. All right. And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. Let's do this. Absolutely Whew. a picture of resilience. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given up the fight. Bitter perseverance is what will make him such a threat in this matchup. And he's facing Raul Mendoza, the technical assassin representing Legado del Fantasma. Mendoza is just as mean as they come. When the intimidating Legado del Fantasma wants to send a message, this is the guy they call. The stomp in every single part of his body. Okay. Oh, chop it. Uh-oh. Bad body yeah. drop. Suplex. Brutal stomp to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. I'm going to break his fingers. Oh, my God. This is hard to watch. The colossal clutch. There it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't. Slipped right underneath. And just like that, he's out of the hole. Drops Oof. the hammer right on the lower back. Uh, he got him. a counter for Mendoza. And nope. Able to reverse that one. Look at this. Going counter for counter. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Climbing up top. He's got that was an amazing kick. No, 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 no. But I got tricks of my own. Oh, my. Devastating impact to the back. All right. Let's score a rock. Come on. Woo. Woo. Oh, he caught me. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. There they go. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Uh, Look at this. Oh! Swing shot cross body to the outside. I love the suicide dive move. Re-enters under the ropes. All right, Mendoza. Oh, Get on man. it. You can see he is feeling it now. Will this be it? Just kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. All right. Kick to the gut. He could pin his opponent right shoulders down. Yes. And only gets a one count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Shall we dance? Oh, damn. Uh-oh, pump handle applied. What's coming next? Oh! I did not Mendoza expect that. With an absolutely wicked display right there. Ah, the Phantasma must be very pleased with the message sent on that one. Oh, ah. Miss timing with that springboard. Uh-oh. You can't see me. Hey, hey. Will Mendoza recover? Pin. Two. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. I'm pretty sure that everyone was three, in the right? building thought that was, that was going to be the end of it. Myself included. It is unreal that this match is still All going right. on after a minute. First go. up top. A dummy knee drop. Kick to the gut. Let's power bomb him. Power oh, bomb this fool. To be in right now. Oh! Into the lung blower. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. An elusive Mendoza there. Well, that was a fail, wasn't it? He went right into that turnbuckle. Damn. Stops. Going way up high. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Walking the tightrope. 
He fades Ooh. a counter for Mendoza. <laughs> yes. Ow. E. Bam. Ooh. Ouch. Jumping oh. knee strike. Oh. Oh, like that. oh, that looked gnarly. Got him up. Hoshigaroshi. This match may be nearing its limit. At this ah. point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. And misses on the springboard. Now check this out. Crucifix applied. This could be Big it. combination. Kicks out. He still has life. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Uh-oh. Wait for it, wait for it. Big Ooh. punch finds its mark. The springboard attack fails to land. Oh, damn. Got caught. Oh, hard impact in the corner. What's he doing here? Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Still emphatically delivered. Tuck him in. It's bedtime. No, he beats the count. Ah. How close was that? That was, that was close real it close. Get without it all being over for him. And you can sense the desperation. And now it's time to go night night last move with the super kick. One, two, three. Uh, there we go. His opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here is your winner, Sean Saxton. That is the kind of my first that achievement. Opens eyes nice here in WWE. A major victory here. I was wondering. You could just. I said in the last. I said in the, the last live stream. This one. Why yeah. is there no achievements? And now I finally got one. So I guess, starting off in the PC, you don't get achievements. I mean, you should though. But I guess it's all part of the practice. But at least I helped that fan out. So. Dang, I gained a lot of fans. On that one and wow nice all right turn that on bam Let's see dang that's it <laughs> okay we'll leave it at that 80 is pretty good wow look at this Yes. Better luck next time, Raul. Haha. <laughs> I know I told you told you Sean Sixteen. Think. Okay. But it was pretty obvious. And now I probably have a target on my back because of that dumb shit. Thanks, Mark. Cameron Grimes is the greatest superstar to ever wear a hat to the moon. That might be the most ridiculous statement that I've ever I've ever seen, Cameron Grimes, and I've seen a lot. Okay, Sean 16. Name one other hat-wearing wrestler who's better than Cameron Grimes. You can't. Sami Zayn, Farouk, JBL, Macho Man, Godfather. Oh, The Undertaker. I could go. I could go on. None of those losers ever did anything. And I don't appreciate your questioning my greatness. So how about I show you what I can do in the ring? Alright. You dare disrespect the legends? Oh, <laughs> I even get a fucking hat. I'll make sure to put one on. After I after I win this match, I'll, I'll make sure to put one on. So I go from having my first match with Raul, and now Cameron Grimes. So oh, cutscene. Hold on, Cameron oh, Grimes shit. isn't waiting for the match to start. Unfair. Grimes what the hell? Insulted him on social media. What do you expect? This is an overreaction, to say the least. Start the bell. 
Oh no, he attacked. Is that it? He he just attacked me. That was it. <laughs> wow. That was it. I get jumped, and this is what he does. Who's the greatest added, added superstar now? Shouts to Cameron Grimes, baby. The only thing you prove is that you're a coward. Pretty sure Jeff Hardy didn't teach you to jump people from from behind when he trained you. Uh huh. Yeah, let's do it. And Jeff Hardy agrees. I mean, who who trained you to jump somebody over over hats? You want to jump me? Rings, this is already I'll show you what I match last week that never actually got started after Cameron Grimes viciously attacked his opponent. His opponent who questioned whether Cameron Grimes was the greatest superstar to ever wear a hat. Can you blame Grimes for what he did? Uh, yeah, I can, and so did Grimes' mentor, Jeff Hardy. When the guy who trained you was calling you out, you clearly messed up. Whatever. Grimes is going to send his opponent to the moon again, and maybe this time you can go with him, Saxton. Sequence of reversals there. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Elusiveness from Grimes. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Ding, ding. Bam. That was nasty. Now oh, trampling the opposition. And a reversal by Grimes. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. Great counter. Setting it up. Boom. Take care ah, of that arm. Spinning arm breaker. Oh man, what a strike. As the wrist trapped. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Consecutive attacks keeping Grimes off his game. Yeah, the wheels are coming off the wagon for Grimes Can't here. Can't touch me, Grimes. He's just showing how well scouted they each are. Great reversal. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind, nasty. Got him up. And there we go. Oh, down across God. the knee. Alright, Irish whip him to the corner. Up, Counter. of and course. And now there's an opening. That gets reversed on Grimes. Cameron Grimes with the cave but in. Grimes hits the referee. That's on the referee. He needs to be more oh, aware when Grimes on. is about to send his opponent oh, to the moon. Well, now it looks like Cameron Grimes is going to send his opponent a what message. The? Oh, no. A baseball bat. Oh, no. Come on. I just it's got Jeff here. Hardy. The charismatic enigma is here oh, in shit. NXT. But why? It appears he's trying to encourage his former student to take the high road here. Oh. What was that all about? Oh, oh come on. Like Jeff. What the fuck, man? And Cameron Grimes picks up the win thanks to the shocking actions from his so-called mentor, Jeff Hardy. Hey, you may not like how it went down, but at the end of the day, Jeff Hardy and Cameron Grimes are like family. And that means Hardy's going to help Grimes get ahead in WWE, no matter what that entails. That's fine, but be upfront about it. Hardy was chastising Cameron Grimes on social media for using tactics like this, and then he turns around and does the same thing. Hopefully we'll get some kind of explanation from the charismatic Enigma before long. What? What just happened? Jeff, what the fuck? I've only been in NXT for two weeks. And that is what I get? 
I lose my first match within two weeks. I mean, that kind of makes sense. I would probably lose my first, <laughs> either my first match or my second match in NXT. All right, let me read this. Cameron Grimes. After. All right, let me let me read all this again. Cameron Grimes is like a little brother to me, and I know more than anyone that little brothers have minds of their own. Sean Sixteen was trying to use that to drive a wedge between us. So I did what I had to do. Always going to have my little bros back over an outsider. If you have a problem with that, let me know, Sean16. Outsider? Hmm. Thanks, big bro. Never doubted you or us. Cameron grinds to the moon, baby. To the moon. I do have a problem with that, Jeff. A big one. So how about you and your little bro meet me and a partner in the ring to settle this hardy style in a TLC match? Fine with me. We'll do it. TLC against me and one of the innovators of the match? You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. It would take some kind of maniac to even want to team with you. A maniac? Hmm. Maybe you're onto something. Element of surprise. Breaking. Sean 16 and a mystery partner will take on Cameron Grimes and Jeff Hardy in a huge TLC tag match next week on NXT. Who's crazy enough to side with Sean 16 in a TLC match against the charismatic Enigma? We'll find out soon enough. Why are they trying to talk up TLC as, the, as a crazy match? I guess maybe it's because it's not really done in NXT that it's kind of a rarity. I don't know. But who's my partner? Hmm. A maniac? Could it be Dean Ambrose? <laughs> but I highly doubt that. But what about what about Hector Flores? He's in NXT and we're on good terms, so I would not mind partnering with Hector Flores. Better get Who's it going to be? Oh shit! Dexter, Dexter Loomis. Yeah, that makes sense. We've seen Jeff Hardy in plenty of TLC matches, Ow. but this is his first alongside his little brother, Cameron Grimes. You have to think Hardy's TLC experience gives him an edge here tonight. Are you two just ignoring the fact that the oh, mystery shit. partner turned out to be Dexter Loomis, a man who tormented Cameron Grimes on numerous occasions? This was a brilliant move that could take Grimes off his game. Oh, solid form. And he was lying in wait for Jeff. Counter after counter. Good oh shit! Night. I don't know why I was I don't know why I was targeting Cameron Grimes. I mean Dexter Loomis. There's so many people in this ring. Around hooking the leg. Oh my god! And this match will head back to the ring. I want vengeance, Jeff. Saw it coming and got out of there. No! Oh, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. And out of the ring he goes. A bicycle knee strike. Another knee drop. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Headlock. Boom! Haymaker connects. Big time. I have no buster. idea what's happening anymore. Lead to a big time win. Oh man. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. TLC matches are inherently dangerous. He was ready for this. Slam down. Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. Oh, and a stop. And Lubis saw it coming. Put it in the corner now. Nice reversal by Lumis. Oh, and a rear 
super kick. From behind, nasty. Here comes the pitch, piercing strike. Knee strike to the face. God driven face first. Ooh, well measured. Was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh. Kicking ass today. Headlock. Me oh, and Loomis. Scott and a kick. Oh, and a rear super kick. Rumba. Oh, look at this. He turns it around. Oh, what a counter. Catches the leg. Oh, my gosh. A follow-up moonsault slam. All right, since then, this could be it. He oh, dang. He's too here. heavy. Well, this has been one vicious TLC match. Those impacts oh, and hits shit. have to catch up with you. I was about point. to say. So close. So close. Goodness. Inverted suplex. That unraveled on Grimes. Boom. Oh, costly error there. German suplex. Oh, damn. He's all by himself. Face crusher. Drops the hammer. Getting right annihilated. And this might not have a pleasant Give it a ending. second. Oh, damn it. Lands face first. Loomis fends that off. Shifts it back onto him. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. He's got that glint in his eye, that sadistic look that only comes when ladders enter the equation. What a drop kick. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Comes back into the ring. He'll take. We're going to finish it off. Nope. Right hook. Able to interrupt the attack. Ooh, he retaliates. But he's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. He's still got life in this matchup. Oh, that can rock you. Big overhand. Oh. oh. My goodness, did you hear that chop? Oh, Woo. oh. yes. So ruthless. Yes. <laughs> that looked brutal. Legs are locked. Triangle. triangle. Got him. Is he going to tap? The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's trying to hold on. But for how? Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And there's more resiliency from Loomis to just keep battling. Yeah, this late in the game, I'm not sure if... Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. It sucks. Ah, dang. I think I knocked down the referee. Kneeing his way out. And he's free. Absolutely no telling what's That's underneath sad. the ring tonight. Oh, what a right hook. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Oh, and Loomis turns the tables. Miss me, bitch. Oh. And he's taking this to the outside now. Taking this to the floor. Counters that. Okay. What? Oh, Got me there. Dude, that'll clean your clock. Look at this, Byron. Submission move, submission move. That scissor submission. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout. Oh, spinning through. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Oh, man, what an uppercut. Mistake made by Grimes. Oh. He'll head to the ring. Oh. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. Returning to the ring now. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Oh, what a right. Man, that's an attitude behind it. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Jeff is undergoing a thrashing. 
Hardy's wings are being clipped. Hardy predicted that one. Shot to the back of the neck. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Would you come into a TLC match expecting it? I don't think we're going to see it. I don't know what he was doing there. Concerned I just took advantage. Face now. <laughs> yes. And the ladder match is over. Here are your winners, Sean. Damn. Look and at this face. Loomis. And teamwork Damn. makes the dream work in this tag team victory. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're put. Oh yeah. That felt good. Whew. And I get a fancy hat. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let, let's put the hat on. I really need to dust this thing off. Speaking of which... I was about to say, did the game crash again? <laughs> Because the moment that the the moment the circle loading screen thing stopped, the music stopped. So I thought the game crashed again. Again, this this game gives me PTSD.